Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn about feedback amplified topologies and analysis. The learning outcome of this session, at the end of this session, students will be able to understand and analyze feedback amplifier or topologies. So these are the contents of this session. So topologies of feedback amplifier, there are four basic uh, amplifier types or uh, topologies, each of these being uh, approximated uh, by the characteristic of an ideal controlled source. The four feedback topologies are as depending upon type of output quantity taken and the, the way in which the, the sampled output quantity given back to the input side of uh, amplifier. Basically, there are uh, four types of uh, topologies or a feedback amplifier. So these are a voltage series or series shunt feedback amplifier, current series or series series feedback amplifier, uh, current shunt or shunt series a feedback amplifier, and the fourth type is a voltage shunt feedback amplifier or shunt shunt uh, feedback amplifier. So let us go for the first type of uh, uh, negative feedback uh, amplifier that is a voltage series feedback amplifier. So this figure shows uh, a block diagram for uh, voltage series feedback amplifier. So in this, uh, the output, uh, the quantity taken from the output side of this amplifier is a, a voltage and the first term of this uh, name of this amplifier indicates that the quantity taken from output side of amplifier, whether a voltage or current. So in this case, the output uh, quantity taken from output side of amplifier is a voltage and the second term series stands for uh, the feedback circuit uh, provides uh, that uh, feedback signal that is proportional to the quantity taken from uh, output of amplifier. It is applied in series with the input signal existing at the input side of amplifier. So for voltage series feedback amplifier, so the input is uh, uh, effective input voltage for a basic amplifier is Vn and Vs stands for uh, external applied input signal uh, voltage Vs and uh, this is a feedback circuit. So it uh, samples uh, some part of output voltage and uh, so for that uh, parallel connection is used at the output side of amplifier and the signal proportional to output voltage, the signal proportional to output voltage, it is uh, that is designated as VF, it is fed, fed back to the input side of this amplifier. So that uh, feedback signal, uh, feedback voltage signal VF, so that is applied in series with the input signal VIN. VIN stands for effective input voltage of uh, amplifier and the feedback uh, voltage signal VF so that is in that is coming in series with external applied input voltage uh, signal source vs so as uh, the feedback signal uh, voltage signal is applied in series opposition in series opposition with the input uh, voltage signal so both the vf and vn are out of phase or of opposite polarity so feedback voltage signal opposes uh, the the input uh, voltage signal existing at the input side of amplifier. So due to this, the effective input current, the effective input current of this amplifier uh, uh, decreases, decreases. So the input impedance, input impedance, impedance of this uh, voltage uh, series feedback amplifier uh, increases. As effective input current decreases, the input impedance of this amplifier uh, increases. So output is uh, amplified uh, voltage signal that is applied to load resistor RL. So the voltage appearing across RL is a V out that is output amplified output voltage of overall amplifier. So input voltage VN of the basic amplifier is a algebraic sum of the input signal uh, Vs and the feedback signal voltage Vf. So Vf uh, that is equal to beta times uh, V out. So beta stands for a gain of feedback circuit or feedback factor. So part of output voltage, so that is a VF, it is uh, mixed with Vs and uh, the resultant of this is applied to the input of uh, ampli basic amplifier. So 
VO stand, VO or VO stands for the output voltage of the amplifier. So from this uh, uh, block diagram, as uh, input impedance uh, increases at the same time, as there is a parallel connection at the output side of this amplifier uh, to take uh, to, uh, part of output voltage, so effective output impedance, effective output impedance of this uh, voltage series feedback amplifier uh, decreases. So from that uh, block diagram of uh, voltage series feedback amplifier, uh, the transfer ratio or uh, gain of a basic amplifier, so that is designated as A, that is the basic internal gain of gain or transfer ratio of amplifier. So V stands for effective input voltage of uh, uh, overall amplifier and uh, V out is the out amplified output voltage of amplifier. So in that block diagram, A stands for a ratio of output voltage to uh, actual input voltage of a basic amplifier. So that is A equal to AV, designated as AV. So it is a voltage gain, V stands for voltage gain. So AV stands for voltage gain of amplifier. So transfer ratio or gain of overall uh, feedback amplifier. So considering that uh, Vs is an externally applied input voltage, whereas uh, Vf is the output of feedback circuit, that is feedback voltage signal and beta stands for feedback factor or gain of feedback circuit. So that is beta equal to Vf upon V out. So overall voltage gain of uh, voltage series feedback amplifier, AVF, so that is equal to V out upon uh, input voltage Vs, external applied input voltage Vs. The second type of uh, topology that is voltage shunt feedback amplifier. So in this uh, voltage shunt feedback amplifier, uh, the quantity taken from output side of uh, amplifier is again a uh, voltage. So for that, there is a parallel connection or shunt connection. So output of amplifier and the input side of uh, feedback circuit are connected in parallel and load resistor RL is coming in, in parallel to the input side of uh, feedback circuit. So the signal proportional to output voltage, the signal proportional to the output quantity sample, that is voltage, so that is the current signal, it is applied in parallel, it is applied in parallel to the input signal uh, current, IS. So the in, uh, where IS stands for uh, the current resulting from externally applied input uh, signal source. So that current IS and the feedback current IF are in parallel or in shunt and IN is a effective input, effective input current of a basic amplifier. So as there is a, a parallel connection at the input side of amplifier as well as the output side of amplifier, the, the input impedance and output impedance of this uh, uh, voltage and feedback amplifier with feedback uh, decreases. Both input impedance and output impedance are decreases. So input, uh, input is a current signal and output is a, a voltage signal. So voltage shunt feedback amplifier provides an output voltage, provides an output voltage uh, VO that is in proportion to the input current uh, IS. So input current uh, IN that is the effective input current of basic amplifier is the algebraic sum of IS and the output current of a feedback circuit that is IF. And the feedback current IF, so that is applied in parallel to the input signal source current IS. So considering this uh, block diagram of uh, voltage shunt feedback amplifier, the gain of uh, basic amplifier, so that is the designated as A, so that is nothing but, in this case, for uh, voltage shunt feedback, uh, effective input current of amplifier is I in, and uh, output is a uh, voltage, voltage signal. So uh, forward transfer ratio, or gain of this amplifier, it is the ratio of output voltage to input current. So that is uh, that is equal to uh, A, so that is designated as RM. So RM stands for trans resistance of amplifier. So RM stands for trans resistance of this amplifier without feedback. So transfer ratio or gain of this amplifier with feedback. So that is, uh, uh, can be that can be expressed as, uh, considering IS as externally applied input uh, 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 current, and IF is the output of uh, feedback circuit. So beta, that is the feedback factor of feedback circuit. 
So beta equal to I f upon V out. So the trans resistance of overall uh, voltage and uh, feedback amplifier, RMF, designated as RMF, so that is equal to uh, ratio of output voltage V out to the input current I s. Now third type of uh, a topology that is current series feedback amplifier. In current series, the type of output quantity uh, sampled from the output set of amplifier is a, a current. So for current sampling, uh, the output uh, side of amplifier uh, and the input side of feedback circuit are connected in series. So output load resistance coming in series with the input port or input side of a feedback circuit. So output is a, a current signal and uh, the input side of this uh, amplifier. So the feedback circuit provides uh, a voltage signal that is proportional to the uh, current sampled from output side of this amplifier. It is applied in series, in series with the input voltage Vs, or in series with effective input voltage of this amplifier. So this is nothing but a current series uh, feedback uh, amplifier topologies. So feedback voltage V up applied in uh, series opposition with uh, Vs or a uh, Vn. And uh, the effective input voltage for a uh, amplifier is a Vn. So that is amplified at the output. So, so output is a current and input is a voltage. So this current series feedback amplifier acts as a, a transconductance amplifier. So transconductance feedback amplifier provides an output current IO, that is output current I, I out, which is proportional to the input voltage uh, Vs so the feedback signal is the voltage uh, Vf which is added or mixed to the input, uh, externally applied input voltage source uh, signal voltage Vs at the input of this basic amplifier. So from this block diagram we can express uh, the gain of a basic amplifier without feedback that is uh, designated as a Gm. So Gm stands for uh, transconductance, uh, transconductance of amplifier so it is ratio of output current I out to input voltage V in. And considering uh, the negative feedback, so the gain of this uh, amplifier with uh, negative feedback, so that is a transport ratio with uh, feedback, so that is expressed as a GMF, whether GMF stands for transport ratio or gain of this amplifier with feedback. It is a ratio of output uh, current to the input voltage uh, Vs. Now, fourth type of uh, topology that is current shunt feedback amplifier. So, in this uh, output uh, quantity taken uh, is a current. So, for that there is a series connection between output side of amplifier and the feedback circuit. So, load register RL is coming in series with the input side of feedback circuit. And the feedback signal that is a current signal that is proportional to output current. So, it is applied in parallel in shunt with the input current IS resulting uh, due to external applied input uh, signal source. So the, uh, the current shunt feedback amplifier supplies an output current I out which is uh, proportional to the input current I in. So this makes uh, it uh, as a current amplifier. So current uh, shunt feedback amplifier is a current amplifier. The feedback signal uh, is a current I up and the input current of the basic amplifier is uh, I in. So I in equal to I s plus uh, I f and the output current is I out. So that is uh, equal to the load current I l. So from this block diagram we can express the gain without feedback and gain with feedback. So gain without feedback that is the current gain of this amplifier ratio of output current to input current. So designated as A i. A stands for current gain of amplifier. And current gain of amplifier with negative feedback. So that is designated as A i f. So it is a forward transfer ratio or current gain of this amplifier with feedback. So that is equal to amplified output current I out upon the input uh, externally applied input uh, signal source current I s. So student can pause video here and uh, think over this question and try to answer this question. Series feedback connection tend to increase, tends to increase the input impedance of amplifier. Why? The answer is this is because the feedback signal is applied to input in series to oppose the external input signal applied causing the input current to decrease. So input impedance of overall amplifier increases. 
so this is a reference thank you